Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Adams, Deputy Chief Medical Officer at the First Nations Health Authority. The toxic drug poisoning crisis is tragically now the leading cause of death for youth in British Columbia. Our young people are leaving us too soon. And as leaders, we must act with urgency to prevent harms and support healing. It is up to us to foster an environment where they feel supported, not judged or stigmatized. When youth feel safe, they are more likely to access services and supports. Culture and language are also essential. It grounds all of us as First Nations people, offering wisdom and strength from our ancestors. People keep dying every day because what we're doing isn't working. We need to make changes now. We must include youth voices in policy making. Their perspectives must be considered to help guide our actions. This is needed in order for them to heal, feel supported, and ultimately to save lives. We asked three youth to share their thoughts about the toxic drug crisis and what we as a society can do better to make space for youth voices. Just coming from my own experiences would to be able to give youth a voice and to hear what is needed um, because I know that in a lot of communities, a lot of youth voices are not heard. And I find that that's very, very important in um, moving forward in a harm reduction perspective, also culturally, and just to figure out what is needed so that our, our people don't continue on dying. In order to just reduce harm in general, safe supply, uh, access to counselors, access to elders, access to culture. There's so many things that you could do that would just help us. But the main thing that you can do in order to help us is listen. Don't listen just to formulate a response back. Listen, think about it, and come up with a plan. You need to have youth at whatever table you're at because nothing about us without us. That is best practices. Being honest with your, your family, your friends of what you're going through. Um, harm reduction is, is getting counseling. Harm reduction is, is instead, of, instead of drinking a whole bottle to drink half a bottle. Harm reduction is, is having Narcan on you. Harm reduction is not using it alone. Harm reduction is so much and it's so, it's so, so important. That there are safe people out there. There are safe people out there that you can turn to, you know, even if you don't want to use it, you know. You can do other things. You can go to ceremony. You can just reach out to one of your relatives, one of your friends. You know, there's elders, there's community members that can hold you. And you don't have to do this alone. I know it seems really lonely, but um, but there's other ways out too. You know, and this is it. This is in everything, you know, and sometimes alcohol and substances, you know, they it feels like that's the only thing that you have when you're alone and you're sad, or if that's just like what you're doing, you know, but it's not, and that's speaking from experience.